Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be all about Fox body smog pump removal. And in my case, replacement with a idler. I have a Ford racing idler pulley that I'm going to be using on this car. This guy. Okay. Nice piece. Now, a lot of people have asked me, why do you go to an idler pulley? Why don't you just delete the smog system altogether and get a shorter belt? And the reason being is I find peace of mind in the fact knowing that if I'm ever stuck out on a, I get out on a cruise and I get stuck in a small town somewhere because I blew a belt, let's say, I can go into the local parts store, give the guy all the information for a stock sized belt on a Fox body and chances are they're going to have one sitting on the shelf versus telling the guy I need you know one that's an inch and three quarters and five eighths shorter and, and whatever else this way I just it gives me peace of mind so that's why I've gone to the trouble I mean that Ford racing idler pulleys 90 bucks but I just kind of like the peace of mind that comes from running the stock belt so that's why I'm going that route now this is all part and parcel in a bigger program I'm ultimately changing out the stock headers the stock H and the stock cat back but in order to do that and because this well realistically i got to go to all this trouble because this car is so original it still has all the smog system in it still got the cats still got the stock mufflers stock everything so i got to remove all that stuff before i can even get at the passenger side exhaust manifold header so stand by guys we're going to get the hood up get the car up in the air we'll start taking this thing apart okay so first things first i got to get the stock air box and plumbing out of the way so i can get down below for those of you that don't know this down here is the smog pump right below the alternator and i got to get down at that and remove it Okay guys, so air box is removed and all the plumbing and the mass air that sits right here. You can see I got a little bit more access to all of this plumbing and stuff now, right? That this smog pump hooks up to. But quick little uh, funny moment that I had as I was removing my air box. So you can see this here, this plastic insert that's on the, uh, what's well, on the back side of the, the inner wheel well there, or the inner fender. Um, that is the, well, cold air silencer type deal you can see right there. So the idea is it's pulling cold air in from outside of the car and rooting it up and into your air filter. Now, back in the 90s, this was a hot mod right here. You got rid of this as fast as you got your Fox Body Mustang because you were going to gain at least an eighth of a horsepower if you got rid of this bad boy. So anyway, I was just laughing as I took this apart. I thought you guys would get a kick out of seeing one of those because, well, again, not many of these Fox bodies have them on them anymore. People got rid of them real quick back when these cars were a little younger in the age. Here's a better look at the smog pump from underneath. So this guy right here, you got to take this 916 bolt out and then this half inch nut. And on top, there's a 916 bolt as well. You've 
seen me kind of loosen in that one so I'm just gonna get these guys loose and then we'll drop this pump out of here and have a look at it on the bench okay guys so here's a stock uh, smog pump Ford pu smog pump and literally all this thing does is spin and pump air that's it and uh, this whole conglomerate of hose and stuff this plugs in here right I don't know how quite honestly I don't know how the heck it all works but this is some kind of foam canister system that's v vacuum operated here and here but yeah you can get rid of all this stuff which is ugly I mean look at the hose clamps um, and yeah just replace it with this one of these guys and like I say you don't have to go this route you can delete all this and and go to all the trouble of calculating what size aftermarket belt you need but like I say I kind of like the idea of having a stock size Ford belt that's readily available everywhere and anywhere I go I've put the belt on. You can see my new idler pulley in there. If you can get a better view of it from here. A little tough to see under there, but you get the hint, I think. And like I say, still get to use the stock belt, which is nice. And gets that god awful smog pump out of there. Now, as far as next steps go, I've pretty much done everything up to here, okay? So now I gotta go to the trouble. This is actually <clears throat> a place where, you know, if you don't have the, the other bits and pieces I'm about to install, you can stop here. And what you'd have to do is just essentially block these off. Okay, so get yourself a piece of hose and a big bolt and plug those off. I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I ran around on my, my 92 green coupe for years like that just plugged both of these guys off and called it good until I ended up pulling the motor out and uh, blocking off because what ends up happening you can see the this kind of rusted hose here steel hose this goes into the back of your cylinder head and you need if you're gonna pop this whole plumbing situation out of here off you got to block off the um, the holes that go into the back of the cylinder heads show you over here with these okay so this is an LMR part and what you do is you remove that plumbing and you get these block off plates and a couple of bolts and you spin these block off plates and bolts into the back of your head one in either cylinder head okay now you can see it's very very tight to get in there and to make this happen so I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse because I'm probably gonna be swearing a bunch and banging my knuckles but the idea is you got to spin the bolts out that hold these hoses in either cylinder head in place and we're gonna replace them with these Okay guys, I'm glad I didn't film that because I think you'd all think less of me for the filthy words that came out of my mouth to get this loose because you got no clearance behind this pipe in the firewall. It's just, it's awful to get, get out of there. I think that's why most people leave it in place. But this is what goes on on the back end of your heads. And then uh, essentially what happens is this pump uh, does its deal, pumps fresh air into here, and pumps it into the back of your cylinder head through here. And this is bolted to your cylinder head through there. Anyway, this is what goes on now, okay? So that goes on the back of your cylinder head, 
they supply you with a new set of bolts to bolt it to your cylinder head and essentially plug this whole system off. So if you're ever looking around behind the back end of your car and no one's ever had the motor out or taken the time to take this whole smog pump system off, this is what it looks like. Showed you the pipe, it's out of the way. Now this, if I can sneak in here, that right there, that aluminum bit, that's the blocker plate. I hope you can see that. So one on this cylinder head. And one over here, right there. So they block those holes in the back of the cylinder head for you there. So the last piece of this puzzle is this hose right here. And this hose goes down into your H pipe. So I've got to get underneath the car and pull that out, but it very well may come out with the H pipe because there's a real goofy hose clamp they put on uh, this hose going down into your H pipe and it's really hard to get loose. So I'm not, that might come out as part and parcel with the exhaust. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this video off here and uh, the following video to this is going to be removing all the stock exhaust and putting the aftermarket stuff on that I've got. Now you guys have seen all this, the BBK H pipe. I got my O2 bungs welded in. And then I got the BBK unequal length shorties to go in there too. Okay guys, so I hope that helps you out. Um, bit of a smog pump removal and idler install. This is really nice to get rid of all this stuff, right? I mean, you can see it's sitting here on the bench. It's just a bunch of junk that you don't really need anymore. Now, what's kind of funny about that though is I'm not gonna get rid of this stuff because so much of this stuff just hit the trash can and I don't even know if you could track it down anymore, right? So all these bits and pieces are turning into antique parts that if somebody wanted to do a full blown, like as close to 100% Fox body restoration as possible, these are gonna be needed parts. So I'm gonna hang on to them, but for my purposes or my mom's in this case, we're doing away with them all and uh, we're gonna let this old girl breathe. So thanks a lot for watching guys. As always, if you got any questions or comments about anything you saw in the video today, please hit me up. I love chatting with you guys. So I look forward to seeing you there in the comments and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care guys. Bye for now.